farmer's market and I'm about to get some goodies to give away to you guys. There is a lot of goodness going on here. So first of all, I couldn't resist. I had to get this little lobster and this is the tartan pattern for Nova Scotia and I really wanted to find something that had that pattern and I thought the little lobster was adorable. So that is going into the parcel. Then I have these delicious maple syrup treats and these are made in um, Upper Tantalon by the Acadian Maple Company and these are really delicious hard candies made with pure maple syrup so I had to go with the maple syrup theme because you know maple syrup is amazing and this is from Haver Acres Maple Farm pure Nova Scotia maple syrup and this is right here in Anaganish so I actually live about 10 minutes outside of Anaganish in a little village called Heatherton so we do all of our shopping and everything in Anaganish so this is produced right here right where I live so that's pretty exciting what else have I got at the farmers market I stopped at the Swinkles Bee products and Swinkles makes delicious honey products so we have their pure honey right here and then we have this lemon grass with yellow clay um, soap this soap smells so good and it's made with olive oil and coconut oil castor oil sunflower oil distilled water yellow clay honey and lemongrass essential oil and I really can't tell you how delicious this smells so don't eat it just wash with it so that is from Swinkles along with their their honey next I have full steam coffee now I am a coffee girl I love my coffee I always tease that I think I was weaned on coffee uh, because both my parents are also baked coffee drinkers and I can drink coffee at at you know two in the morning and it won't keep me awake uh, love coffee and this smells so good so I just got a medium roast I personally would normally go with the dark roast but not everybody likes dark roast so this is organic full steam medium roast from the full steam coffee company and it says it's full steam ahead with our signature full steam blend from our from our house to yours this well balanced medium roasted coffee has the warm charm of maritime hospitality that keeps the conversation going so you can't go wrong with that and then the little story about uh, this coffee company which is produced in Guysboro which is probably about 40 minute drive from where I live so I really wanted to get some of this coffee for the lucky winner and if there's anything in here you don't like you can pass it on and share it to somebody who will love it so here is the fisherman extreme skincare now I have actually bought some baker kits for Christmas gifts and I went to go get one today and they're all gone they're all sold out so I went with this one it's a smaller kit but I wanted to have a bit of an assortment these products are unbelievable so we have the hand and body cream we have the Fisherman's Extreme Lip Care with Sea Buckthorn Citrus. And then this one is Rescue uh, Balm. And then some more little soap, but their soap is great. I also sent some last year uh, for gifts and it was very well received. And this one is Lavender. Oh, it smells so good. So these products are exceptional, which is why they're sold out right now with Christmas around the corner but this was a fun little assortment. Um, so that is coming to the winner. Here we have some organic peppermint dark hot chocolate mix and this is from the Just Us Coffee Company and I first discovered Just Us when I very first moved to Nova Scotia. So they are based out of Halifax and all of their products are fair trade and their, heart, their coffee and their hot chocolate are so delicious and I love hot chocolate so I haven't tried their peppermint I've only had their regular hot chocolate but how can you go wrong so something to enjoy over winter and then what else do I want to show you we'll show you this 
again from the Acadian Maple Company. We have Maple Peanut Brittle. Come on. Come on, it's peanut brittle. You can't go wrong with peanut brittle. So you can stamp your cards while you're munching away on your peanut brittle. And I'm like standing a good foot and a half above this and I can smell that maple. Oh my gosh, somebody's seriously going to enjoy this. Okay, we need more sugar, right? This is a very special box of chocolates. It's Peace by Chocolates. Uh, sorry, Piece by Chocolate, a Syrian family tradition. And the story on this um, company is incredible. The Haddad family left their country in the midst of war and terrible circumstances. And they ended up in Anaganish and they left behind their very successful family chocolate factory. And the community helped this family get started over again and the Haddad family started up their chocolate factory once again. And it started small, out of their home, and uh, now they've got a, a, a big factory in town as well as still their home where you can go and buy the chocolates. So I encourage you to look in the description after this video and click on the link for Peace by Chocolate and read the story which is very um, inspiring and heartwarming and I I love supporting this company and the chocolates are excellent so produced right here wild blueberry pepper spread by the galloping cows fine food dare to go on the untamed side of these wild blueberries combined with zesty jalapeno peppers antioxidants with pizzazz so this would be delicious on cream cheese with crackers this would be good just by the spoon because i love things like that so this is produced out of cape breton and where i live obviously close to anaganish i'm in between anaganish and cape breton so cape breton is not far from from me and i'm happy to support a company that um is not far and how can you go wrong with wild blueberry pepper spread delicious we also have a jar of wild blueberry jam from the Thompson Berries um, company. So blueberries, huge industry here in Nova Scotia. In fact, my, at my last home, before I sold my home, uh, I had 18 acres and on those acres were fields of wild blueberries. And uh, it was so cool to take my little rake and pick the blueberries. And they're this, the short bushes, they're not the, the tall high bush blueberries and they're so delicious. So this is some homemade wild blueberry jam from the Thompson's Berries and they are based out of Westchester, Nova Scotia. So I thought that would be a great gift for our lucky winner. And yet some more soap because I love homemade soaps and they smell so good and this one's the lemon scrub soap by the soap company of Nova Scotia and they are based out of Spearfield so this is a hundred percent guaranteed do not eat this and avoid eyes <laughs> don't eat this my friends it's made to help you feel content use it in the bath or the shower but don't eat this so it smells amazing natural soap handcrafted with care uh, so yes great ingredients I've used their products before and I love their products we also have our saltscapes magazine Canada's East Coast magazine and I love this magazine so while it's not just specific to Nova Scotia it does have all the provinces uh, in the Maritimes and I love their stories I love their recipes right now we have festive cocktails comfort food to come home to um, beautiful photos and stories it's a great magazine and I have given away a lot of subscriptions to this magazine um, and I just I thought it would be fun for the winner to have something like this to sit down and enjoy with a cup of that coffee or hot chocolate that I'm sending them so that's coming in this box of love 
Now I had to include a 2021 calendar of Nova Scotia, right? So this is um, specifically Nova Scotia. So we have the Blue Nose, we have some fishermen. We've got the famous three churches up in Mahone Bay, which is close to Lunenburg, which is actually where my father's side of the family is from. Uh, we have the Cape, Cape Breton Trail, Piggy's Cove, Halifax, Little Fishing Shack. So it's just a lovely calendar. So hopefully the winner will enjoy having that on display in their home. What else have I got? I also have chicken bones. Now, these are produced in New Brunswick, not Nova Scotia. But many of you will know I actually lived in New Brunswick for about seven years prior to moving to Nova Scotia. And this is where the De Gagnon um, factory is. And they make chocolates, and they've been making chocolates for years and years and years and years. And they also make these chicken bones. And oh my gosh, they're so good. And they're so popular at Christmas time, especially. So I had to include. A bag of chicken bones so what are they you're wondering these are spicy cinnamon flavored candy filled with unsweetened chocolate and they are just gonna make you happy I'm telling you they are so delicious the Gagnon um, company has been in business since 1885 and the candy maker Frank Sparhawk invented the chicken bone in st. Stephen New Brunswick so yeah these are pretty darn delicious so I had to include those and then I think, oh, we got two more gifts, two more gifts. So here's a fun gift. Here is a ball cap donated from Giant Bluefin Tuna Charters. Now, this is owned by my guy's sister and her husband, John and Chandra Gavin. So some of you may know this, some of you may not, but every fall when they have their giant uh, tuna charters. They have clients from all around the world, Russia, the States, Canada, you name it. They come to go fish these giant tuna. They can be well over 600 pounds and I do all the catering for their clients. So I, I cook all the meals for their charters. Now, of course, this year it didn't happen but it is quite an experience. I was lucky enough to go out with John and Chandra um, as they were fishing for tuna. And let me tell you, I grew up fishing salmon and you know, we fish for trout and halibut and cod and all the rest of it. Ain't nothing like fishing giant tuna, my friends. It is an entirely different ball game. So this is the Giant Bluefin Tuna Charters and I'm also going to put the link in the description below so you can go check out their website. It is an incredible experience to go fishing for these tuna and so I'm really grateful to Chandra and John for donating a fun ball cap that you can keep for yourself or give to your significant other. It's a pretty fun logo. Love it. Now I am also including a jar of my green tomato marmalade. I did a video on this um, in September. Those of you who have tried this have loved it. I have friends and family who do not care for marmalade and they love this and I think it's because of the pineapple in it. And my buttermilk biscuits. And I know many of you have been loving my buttermilk biscuit recipe. This is actually my mom's recipe. So I grew up on these buttermilk biscuits and they're so delicious. So I have put the dry ingredients in here. These are cello bags that Stampin' Up! sells and some ribbon. So to make my recipe card, I use the rectangle die that's in the Nature Thoughts collection. And then I stamped the lines that are from the ornamental envelope stamp set and then I took the flower from the ornamental style set and then I stamped that on as well so how fun is that that we can make our own recipe cards and then the directions on the back so to make these buttermilk biscuits all you need to do is add your butter and your buttermilk and it's ready to go these are so good and this is just a fun way to decorate our homemade goods using our Stampin' Up! products. So 
See, I actually incorporated some Stampin' Up! fun into this uh, video of all the items I'm giving away. So are you ready to find out who the winner is? So I used an app to draw a random comment to pick our winner and the winner is Congratulations, Millie. I'm so excited for you. Please contact me within the next 48 hours so that I can get your contact information and send this off to you. I'll need your mailing address. So you can just message me at serenestamper at gmail.com. Now I do need to hear from you within 48 hours, otherwise I will be drawing a second name. So Millie, congratulations on winning this gift basket and uh, for winning my 50,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm so happy for you. And for everyone, thank you again for leaving your comments. It really, really means so much to me that you're enjoying my videos. And again, if you're interested in any of the products that I've shared today, I will have all of the links in the description below. And I'll be back soon with a new video featuring another very fun stamping project. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Happy stamping.